Hello and welcome to the MLB Pick Show. Today presented by our friends at Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks. You can always come join us and play on Underdog or at Prize Picks. You can click those links below to get your uh, $100 match. Or if you are on Underdog, the two months free of Star if you're a new customer to Underdog. Uh, we also have other affiliate offers, as you can see down below, Sleeper, Thrive, and FanDuel. All of them work, and we have different props and, or DFS to support them as well. So let's get into it. All right. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, Shannon is out today, so I am running with the show all by my lonesome, and we will just get right into it today. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our video as it helps us out a ton to just keep getting this content out for free to you guys. Now, with our props today, as always, we are going to focus on underdog and on prize picks, and I have good old props AI up here for us right now to kind of go through. Um, as you guys know, I always, you know, stick to pitching a little bit more. I'm going to do a little bit of pitching, a little bit of hitting, because I got to fill in uh, for Shannon here today. Um, most of my stuff is pitching today, though, just just so you do know that. Uh, and as always, you know, I always kind of click these three first, go through those before I open it up to everything. Uh, but let's just head straight into kind of the picks today. So these are some of the picks that I have selected already. And I'm going to go through kind of my top ones here. So first of all, my first main pick is Lance Lynn. Uh, higher than 1.5 walks. Look on sports books. We're looking at minus 143 for this. He's been over in 6 of 10, over in 3 of 5. He's averaging 1.8 walks per 9. If we open up his player card, you can see some more information here. So, you know, he gives up 3 walks per 9 innings. Since he's been at the Dodgers, it's been a little bit better, but it's not like the Dodgers instantly fixed his, fixed his command. And so I'm going to go back to this. I don't think he has gotten way better with his command, and Milwaukee is you know, a decent team at taking walks. So I like going over here and I think there's a very high likelihood of it hitting and, you know, sports books agree in that manner. Next, there's a couple here that I like and I'm going to talk through all of them, but we'll go. My next main one is going to be good old Dick Mountain. We're going Rich Hill over 15 and a half uh, outs. Now, with San Diego, he has not done this yet, but he does hit at 56% of the time this season. He is at home. He is versus Arizona. And I like his chances of getting at least 16 outs today and pitching, you know, into the fifth inning. Now, has he been a great pitcher this season? No. And he's been especially bad his last five starts. At least the two with San Diego where he has, you know, went three innings and 3.1 innings. Now, he is a vet. They're not worried about how many pitches he's going to throw. So, I'm not really too worried about his last two outings. As we've seen his career, he can struggle for an outing or two, but he usually bounces back right away. And I think this is a great spot for him to bounce back. And I think 15.5 is just too low for him when he's been hitting, you know, 15, 56% over here. Sports books agree with the consensus odds being over 131 and best odd minus 143. It's best odds for us. Be worse odds if you're betting on an actual sports book. Um, so I like this spot. Arizona does not scare me that much. They are a decent offense, but they really do struggle versus lefties. Only a 300 Woba, 18% K rate. Uh, so they don't strike out a bunch, but look, they're not getting on base. So with that, I think it might be hard for Arizona in Petco in a pitcher friendly park to uh, get him out of the game quickly. So those are my two main props. Those are the two that we'll, we will be watching for the giveaway of $50. 
And with that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can be entered into that free giveaway. Uh, a couple bonus ones here. Let's go over here. So, you know, we're talking about, we talked about uh, Rich Hill, good old Dick Mountain as a main prop, but I also like Corbin Carroll over 0.5 singles. Uh, he hasn't been good lately, and that's why we have this line at 0.5 here. But look, the con consensus odds, minus 136. Best odds, 175. There's sports books that are saying it's minus 175 for this. So I really like it. Carroll is one of the most exciting uh, prospects in Major League Baseball. And if you look at his recent history, batter, righty, lefty split. So versus lefties over the last 20 games, he's hitting 360. He's in a real good spot. Uh, meanwhile, Rich Hill over the last uh, 20 games, a 9.35 ERA versus right-handed batters. So I think it bodes well for Corbin Carroll to at least have one single. My next bonus prop, and I actually kind of have two, uh, but we'll talk through them both here. So Angel Zerpa over three pitching outs. So with this one, I have already actually bet it uh, over 2.5 strikeouts. Uh, that was, you know, on DK Sportsbook that I bet it. I did put two units. I like it much better at two and a half, obviously. But at three, I think it is still very interesting. Now, the reason this line is so low and our projection for him strikeout wise is so low is that he has been a relief pitcher so far this year or really just this month. Um, in the minors, he was starting and... In late July, he was getting into the mid-90s for pitch count. So I don't think his uh, pitch count is going to be, you know, severely, severely hurt by this. He did go 68 pitches last time out, which was, you know, a week ago now. So I think at minimum, he's getting to 80 pitches today, and he very well could get into the 90s. And he's facing a team that strikes out a ton, 29% K rate. And then in the majors, you know, his K rate has been very low, 9%. But this is a guy that is for his career in all levels of baseball is averaging over eight strikeouts per game. So, or sorry, eight strikeouts per nine. So if he goes five innings, you know, he very easily could have, say, four strikeouts today. And I expect him to be at least able to go five. So... I think it's a very interesting spot. I think this line is a little bit too low, and thus I'm hitting it at three. I'm going to be a little more cautious with it, uh, but at two and a half, I really do like that. Uh, next, we got Jose Quintana. Now, this is definitely my least favorite of all of them. I did hit this one in sports books at under on 15.5 uh, outs at plus money on prize picks. We have it at 16 outs, and I still like it. Look, our projections, 12.8 total outs, 15.8 for the consensus. All of us are essentially saying under on this one. And he's been a very solid pitcher, but he's going into St. Louis. We have nice hitting weather. There's a 10.5 game total here. I think it might be a little bit of a struggle for him to pitch uh, a little deeper into this game. So let's go under there. All right. And then lastly, guys, my home run call of the day. We're going with Trevor Story. We got uh, plus 280 here is the best odds we can find for him. He has not hit a home run on this season yet. However, in the minors, he was hitting the ball very well, and he had multiple home runs. He is a top 5% hitter versus left-handed pitchers. Corbin, meanwhile, is giving up a lot of hard contact to righties. If you look at his splits there, 180 ISO over the last 20 games. He gives up a decent amount of home runs. Their, their bullpen has allowed 64 home runs on the season. So even after they get to Corbin, uh, Story still has a very good chance to hit a home run here. And so far, you know, the uh, lefty splits for Trevor Story 
haven't been great as far as ISO. However, he's hitting 409 versus lefties so far this season. He's hitting 390 over the last week, 270 on this season. His ISO is decent. He typically hits the ball very hard, and he's done very well versus Corbin in his career. He has three home runs off 36 plate attempts. I really like the upside here for a home run for Trevor Story in a good spot with warm weather and the winds blowing out. So let's get that Trevor Story bomb. All right, guys, I will be back tomorrow. Those are my uh, picks for today. I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Good luck. Let's win some money. Adios.